Okay, it says we're connected again. Let me know how we're doing. I turned it down to a lower quality, so I'll walk more slowly and hopefully that will work. I'm just waiting to see if anyone's finding this. I know I've only been here about 10 seconds, so we'll just give it a minute to see if anyone comes up. If you folks are finding this, let me know. I see you. Hi there. Good to see you. So, okay, hopefully pointing. It tested fine when we were here earlier. I'm not sure what I can do. I'll try walking towards another part of the building and see if it helps. But the buffering, it may be that you just have to come see me in person. I'm sorry about that. Hi, Debbie. Good to see you here. Pammy Whammy. We'll see if it starts to perk up a little bit or if it keeps buffering, then we'll go on from there. But at least we're going to try to show some stuff. Hey, how are you, Vicky? No. Ah. <laughs> and uh, there we go. Yes, that was, there is a case we were at with the Blanco. Uh, there is a space up by me I'll try to head towards because that little tent. And we're going to see if we can get up there. First of all, we'll show you some very beautiful porcelain though. And look at that green Zolne piece, the nude with the urn. Wow, that's just amazing. Great you were there the flambe piece which i believe is royal dalton this dealer has really beautiful things you know this show is great because there's a lot of really great modernism like you're seeing here with these groovy tulip chairs i want to see the puppy yes um yeah this is great the heron rocking chair that's a sugasawa and they want 2500 definitely worth every penny uh, so you're going to see some great modernism here you're going to see some really cool native american these beaded pieces, I think, are quite phenomenal. Very pretty delphinium blue, the oil lamp there. That's very nice. So, yeah, I hope you folks who are in the area will come out. This show is still getting established. So we definitely uh, are anxious to see any of you folks who can get here. These people have wonderful prints. Just a fantastic display. Always have really liked their stuff. And I'll just sort of take a slow walk by it so you can get the vibe. They have old advertising pieces uh, and a lot of commercial prints and parish and, uh, but just all sorts of great things. Look at the frames on these. Those almost look like uh, it's um, getting done without me, which is such a blessing. I'm so lucky to have someone helping this time. Uh, and this is my neighbor across the other direction. And she's got, Actually, some really beautiful house parts. Uh, I like this lamp base. I think these guys are great. I don't know anything about them. But her stuff definitely has a vibe. And uh, this gal has very... Uh, wow, look at that movie. <laughs> she's got really cool fashion, too. And she's got a lot of this sparkle. And we are seeing a lot of people really being into glitz again. Bedazzling, these... Um, outfits that were very popular especially in the early 90s we are seeing people liking this look again and i can see why this is portland yes hello la vintage hi sean nice to see you too i'm trying to stay to the edges because i think the reception is better when i'm near the doors so we'll see if that works uh, this is the expo center in portland the show starts tomorrow morning early buyers come in at eight these folks have a really great selection of telephones and they even have crates that old tele uh, not telephones typewriters of course I don't think you could use any of these as a telephone uh, but they have wonderful selection a lot of different brands a lot of different colors I'm looking forward to getting to know them and a little more about them because when you have someone who's a specialist like this they typically really know their stuff and they're going to know what's special and why look at the great color on this one and then the Olivetti, that's a neat piece there. Oh, thank you. And here's their card. So you can see Typespace is the name of their business. Anthony Velopi. Well, nice to meet you. I'm George Higby. I'm, uh, I'm doing a YouTube uh, right now. So I wanted to show your stuff real quickly just to let people come in. But I'll come introduce myself tomorrow. <laughs> I have to say people are very friendly and very appropriate, uh, approachable at these shows, which is really great. They really want you to know more and they want to answer questions, you know, time permitting, of course. Uh, they, they are really terrific help with each other. This one has lots of great posters that we can't really see because they're not all set up yet. I mean, we're still in the middle of setup. I am so far behind, but you know, 
I'll get out as much as I can. How many vendors at this? Probably around 120 maybe? 100, something like that. Um, you know, it's, it's a relatively small show. I mean, it's the biggest one we have going in the Northwest, but it's relatively small compared to the one that used to be here. But it is building back from the fact that we didn't have anybody after the pandemic doing shows, so we're very grateful for it. This fellow brought these really amazing baskets uh, the last time. This one, I believe, is Northern California. They like to sew buttons and other things into their basketry at a certain point. And this is really, really something. Are these shows listed somewhere? Yes, uh, doing it, but Calendar Promotions used to do a show in Del Mar that was really good. And so, and of course you have the Rose Bowl swap meet and all of that, but as far as antique shows, I think there are still a few actual antique shows in California too. Laptop working again. So far, it doesn't seem like people are saying too much about buffering. That's great news. A whole wall full of foxes and Maxfield parishes and 1920s prints. I mean, it's really interesting to me. This show is actually, has a lot more uh, people doing specialties now. These are my friends, the Whitakers. They do wonderful Christmas. I mean, Christmas is coming and they're ready. They get the neatest stuff and they're very nice people. They do estate sales up in uh, my area as well. And so I always like to see what they've got because they do get really great stuff. And there are some motion lamps. Well, you do. <laughs> They have some really cool motion lamps, and what's great is they step up and pay for the electricity so you can see these things actually working. Isn't that neat? The fireplace and Niagara Falls. This one with the truck is actually probably the scarcest one, though. You don't see that very often because this was done for advertising. And they have a lot of very cute salt and pepper shakers and little walkers. And I have some of that stuff, too, if I ever get it out. So, very fun booth, very nice people. There is quite a bit of jewelry at the show. This huge format camera is amazing from an old photography parlor. They used to have to be this big to work. My motion lamp burnt in the 70s. Unfortunately, that does happen. These folks have a lot of neat turquoise and coral from the Southwest. And this little person who would like to meet us. Hello there. That's Charlie. Charlie, hi Charlie, nice to meet you, yes. <laughs> Charlie doesn't care if I'm filming. He wants attention. Navajo rugs. Look at the, look at the boat model. Isn't that cool? The old, uh, it looks like the ferry boat that runs between Port Angeles and Victoria. And they have an original 95, which is actually not a bad price. It's going to be a really fun show. We're buffering, buffering. Okay. Well, that may be our clue that it's time to... Hello. Great picnic set back there. Did you folks see that? Look at that. That is really cool. Bill gets great stuff too. I mean, there's so many good dealers here. It's so nice to see everybody coming back into it. Wow, yeah, Bakelite handles and the case is this neat plastic, 235. Plastic fantastic, you know? Who would have thought that plastic would be the thing? Oh look, one of my favorite albums. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now these fellows have really great stuff. Look at him putting that apern together. That is marvelous. This is uh, Bruce and Richard, and they are busy, so it's nice that they took a moment to wave. Um, you can see that they do like I do. You bring in big piles, and then you do your best to try to get in, and they've got some really great mercury glass bases up on the top here, which I'll take you over to see. Those are bohemian. And those are going to be probably 1890s vintage. And I'm going to come around to the front here and show you their case. The red mercury glass, those are great. This is a really neat piece too, all hand painted. Early 19th century Chinese. Wow. So period. That's fantastic. Look at the detail. Yeah, they just get really, really, really good stuff. And they have a very high-end clientele, as you can imagine. But yet there's stuff under $100 in their space, too. But then they have really fantastic things that you're unlikely to see very many other places. Look at this gentleman's traveling kit on the silver shelf. Wow is right, yes. They do get the cool stuff. Okay, I'm going to head up this direction because, again, it seems like I need to stay near the front. Oh! 
Yes, I have. That's great. Is it George Nelson? Is it? It know. might be. The shades sure look like it. I would definitely give it a try. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's really cool. You got the stuff with it. Wow, how neat. I never see that stuff at a price I can afford anymore. One of the fun things about being here is we get to talk shop because it gets so busy at the show. So I'm trying to say hi to my friends while I show you guys around too because I might not get a chance otherwise. Great cameo glass cocktail set. This is French cameo glass from the 30s. That's a really wonderful piece. All these little French portraits are very nice. Some are on paper, some may be on ivory if they're old enough. And these are the original little pill boxes. All these little Limoges boxes we see being made recently are based on these old ones that we see here. So this dealer, all rather old, it says 1850. Yes, people do bring their dogs to uh, shows. A lot of times they'll uh, just sit over the weekend in the booth and hang out. Badges, this is something that you see at antique shows that you will not necessarily see on eBay, especially if they are police, they're not allowed to be sold. Lots of daguerreotypes and ambrotypes. And this guy's got really cool stuff too. Look at the quilts on the back. Hello there. Yeah, such a great group of people. This is my friend and um, I think she'll be okay if I do this. I'll lean in, I won't go into her booth because she has it blocked off. But this is my friend, Mary. She's the one with the pill and pottery with the hand painting there. That stuff is very valuable and really beautiful and hard to find. She has a very unusual Roseville pattern there, the morning glory on the right. That's very hard to find, as well as the blue pine cone and that nice Weller piece with the trees. And then look at all of the Bakelite. My friend Andrea also has a whole section of Bakelite here. So if you like Bakelite, boy, they've got it. And um, I'm sure that uh, Zeno is not with me. Um, I'm in here. Yes, he's in there keeping it going, I guess. Um, here we've got um, her neighbor has a lot of really pretty glass and a lot of, again, Italian glass, this nice Empoli. I have a piece that is similar to this, but mine had nice to see you here. Okay, and good. These dealers are starting to move in. There was a little bit of merry-go-round with dealers right at the end. I'm going to try to stay close to the front because that seems like where this works the best. So I may not be able to show you a whole lot more. This is a great hull, chi hull china pattern, the tritone with the pink and blue and gray and white. And then this is dance Coben style. I have the deep blue and they have the light blue. Look at how they've taken this set of drawers and turned it into a little table there. That is pretty neat. And it's got a display on top. Since you're making a top and a bottom for the drawers, well, you can do anything you want. And having a display area is nice. Will I be doing another live during the show? No, I'm afraid I won't. It will be so busy I will not have a chance to do another live. So that's why I wanted to do this. I'll try to do a uh, recorded video on demand but I wanted to do this live. So, and this also gives you an idea of what it's like to watch a show come together. You know, this was completely empty in here at eight this morning and now look. So I'm trying to see if there's something I can show you where it's not gonna buffer. How many of you are getting detached retinas? This place will do that to you. Yes, it has amazing, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So uh, this is where Laura Caldwell was last year, Brain, and then compare that to Teague. And that's the reason that rosewood is a little more desirable. Also, it's hard to get. This is a uh, uh, Jens Risen. On the other hand, this is a really great chair here. I had this one once, but the upholstery wasn't very good. And the upholstery is better on this one. I think that's Norman Belgetti's. And then look at that, a Patrick Nagel. Nagel is carabit. So if it's not faded, not stained, not scratched, you might have something there some really cool stuff this way and I am gonna just walk down one more aisle here and then I'm afraid place but I'm not actually able to show you a lot of the back reaches of the place because there is no reception so I'll just show you this I'm gonna skim over their jewelry they have lots of nice jewelry I don't like to show fine jewelry up close because people would prefer we not show the design so they won't be copied this is Hull Blossom Flight. That's a neat piece here. And I'm going to back up and let them cover because they're trying to go home. <laughs> Everyone's very tired. We've had a long day. <laughs> and I think the buffering is because of this building. 
here's a really great, this is probably Haywood Wakefield. It's funny to think that they were doing modern blonde furniture and they think because I just don't know what else I can show you because of our buffering problem, but I am so glad I got to take a little bit of a break and show you some of this neat stuff. It's such a wonderful show. I hope if you're in the Portland area, you'll come out and see us and uh, uh, I'm, I'm showing me, you can go. People are afraid to walk in front of the camera. Sorry about that. Um, for the last three days everywhere I've been, but it could just be me. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you so much. If you're in the Portland area, come see us tomorrow or Saturday, and we will look forward to it. Otherwise, I'll see you from some other adventure down the road pretty soon. And ignore the hot girls. There's no hot girls here. Bye, everybody.